Hello everyone, welcome back to PVZ 2 Week Class. Last time we made some more progress in the Frostbite Caves Part 2. This time I think we're gonna finish it off. Anyway, but but before we do that, we're gonna do this, or uh, I guess this two days worth of War Party. I don't know, is there a term that references like just two days? Like, is there a word for that? Like, I know like a fortnight is like two weeks, you know? I wonder if there's a word for two days, I don't know. Uh, damaging a zombie will trigger the next wave immediately. Beat this level in under five minutes. What? Well, how many zombies come out at once? Is it just like one dude? I don't understand here. Well, there's a lot of high health guys I'm noticing here. So I think uh, the jelly bean, not the jelly bean, the sun bean. I don't know why I thought he was called the jelly bean there. Let's bring him. Uh, Damaging. Damaging a zombie will trigger the next wave immediately. How can I slow a dude down without hurting them in any way? Because, like, the snow pea, the sapling, they all deal, like, minor damage. I don't think I have anything that, like, slows a zombie down. Besides, like, Stalia. Maybe I should just bring some stunning plants. And then I really should get something fairly powerful, shouldn't I? I almost want to just bring, like, Peapod. Yeah, we'll do a tier 2 Peapod. I want to try that out again. And then maybe just Torchwood. Maybe that's enough? I don't know if I really need... I feel, I feel like the name of the game is just... Yeah, let's just delay the zombies. Well, actually, no, well... The level only lasts two minutes, so maybe I should actually bring something, like, fairly powerful. Like, maybe I'll just do, like, Repeater instead, because I can get it out way faster. I'm gonna try this. I think I'm gonna do Sunflower starting in Calm 3, and then we'll try and get two repeaters at every row. And then I'll put like Torchwoods kind of far out. Let's put the Sunbeams out straight away. Basically, delay, delay, delay. Like, I, I, like I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work. Okay, well, that guy's coming. So maybe I should just let him. Well, this is just a basic zombie. Maybe I should actually, like, get rid of him. Like, ASAP. Okay. Boom. Damaged. So that guy's gonna come, right? Yeah. Well, this is damage him straight away. And we'll put, yeah, Torchwood's there. I think that should be good. Again, just basic guys I can totally handle. Yeah, we'll give you a bean because no one else is showing up yet. No other tougher guys. And we got a plant food dude. Let's get rid. Let's get rid of that guy. Yeah, I'll. I'll uh, I, I definitely did not need to stun you in that guy, but let's let's try and get a sunbeam to that buckethead ASAP. There's lots of bucket heads I could give this to. Oh, there's a there's a brick boy there. It will freeze you because yeah, it can't deal with this buckethead at the same time. No, oh, this is a problem here. Kill that guy before he blasts, please. Dang it. Okay, yeah, we're starting to get a little bit too many guys here. Let's get let's just get it out on the torchwood here, so we don't have to worry about it for like a while. I think my plan here is to put the torchwood down and then plant food this. There we go. Push all these guys back. May need to freeze that guy. I can kind of see. That I'm getting overwhelmed here. We'll admit that. But I don't see what the effective strategy here would be. Just heavy AoE damage. Like anything that can deal with all these guys. Because, like, hmm. Well, I'm looking at the time, right? It said beat this level in under five minutes. And I, yeah, I still have, like, plenty of time left looking at the bottom. So I. 
Seems like I went through this war party a little too fast. But let's see if we can get... If we can just survive till the final wave, we can let the lawnmowers do the dirty work for us. I'm gonna... I need more sunflowers, though, if I want to live. Let's try and get a torchwood out, and then we'll just plant for this row. Okay, last wave incoming. Let's just blast back that row. We need to save time. Like, we need time for, like, everything to get up on screen. All my sunflowers are dead. I need to replace those. Uh, let's throw a jelly bean in that crack. Hopefully someone with high health took it. I think we're good. I mean, the best I can really do is just try and preserve a lawnmower or two. Okay, well that jelly bean didn't really help at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and save the top lawnmower if possible. If I can get a Torchwood on that guy right now, that'd be nice. Although I am kind of out of monies. Just get Sunflower out. I this guy can crush that. Can you just die already, dude? Like, surely you have some damage. Don't hit my Sunflower. Don't hit my Sunflower, dude. Oh yeah, the Stalia doesn't affect that guy in any way. Probably should just fast forward through this. Oh, I ran out of time, dude! I could have just launched that mower! Oh my gosh! I can't believe that just happened. Guys, I'm just gonna fast forward to the end there. Like, you already saw that I basically won. I could have just launched that mower. I don't think- yeah, I'm not gonna really alter any th bits of my strategy at all. Alright, see you guys for the end. Oh, okay guys, I'm back here at the final wave again. Uh, this time I'm doing a lot better. I might actually be able to, like, cons like conserve some rows, I think, maybe. Okay, let's just do this here. I should clear out that row, no problem. Uh, I think second row is definitely a goner. Well, see, I could knock him back and just do this. Yeah, we might be able to do something there. I just need, like, a cherry bomb. Or something. Unfortunately, I don't have any more plant food. So that ship is sailed. I can't. Yeah, second row's gone. Not even gonna try and stop that. to be really yeah I th okay let's just let the guy on the top walk and then maybe I can get this guy on the the, the middle here come on like how, how much HP can this guy really have left there we go we saved three mowers that was a big improvement over last time I still have plenty of time left. I don't know, maybe like 20 seconds if I had to guess. Based on just a rough estimate, looking at the time there. Anyway, let's get there, get our reward. 15 minutes plus a little something extra. I'm really hoping for some gems. It saves me time grinding, or mints. A log of mints would be good. 
coins, mints really good, and more mints, yes! I think we got 6 mints from that. Well, yeah, plus the 15 we got, so we basically got 21 mints. So yeah, that's pretty good overall, I would say. Anyway, enough of these warp parties, let's finish this world. Oh yeah, this is done. Let's get back to Frostbite Caves. We're gonna get Straw Burst out of this level. I wonder if they're gonna make me use it this level, though. Oh my gosh, yes they are. I did, I did get a costume for it, that's why it looks like that in the ice. Oh right, yeah, we got a bunch of troglodytes and the nether dodo. The nether dodo, I'm still a bit unsure of what's the best way of dealing with it. I almost kind of want to just get a, uh, sh use the shadow plants, because shadow plants can't be frozen. But I need something to deal with this stupid void. Perhaps I should just use the cold snap dragon. I feel like, because the birds do fly over it after all. Like I'm thinking just like fire pea and cold snap dragon. I'm fire peas mainly to keep my sunflowers from burning or freezing, not burning. Mm, maybe I should tear it up though. Yeah, where did I grab it from? It was here. Yeah, I think I prefer something with a little bit more damage. That's double damage. But it is fairly expensive though. Let's see, I'm already slowing stuff down. There's not a whole lot of things that have high health, although they're, they are giving me the, the straw burst here. So I think the best idea is to let them get pushed forward a lot. I think we probably should just bring the hot potato to manage these ice blocks a little bit. I'm also really tempted just to bring a blueberry to deal with all these troglodytes. Because I do need to be able to melt these stupid ice blocks like ASAP, or I could just manage them with the hot potato too. I think lava, I think lava, we probably should keep using lava guava. It's really useful for dealing with the ice blocks and also the the bird has to fly over it. And Stunian can also help with the weasel guys. You know, I haven't used this in a while, but I'm also considering the quacodile. It might be useful against the groups of ice blocks. Yeah, I think it's a bit strange, but this could all work together. Let's put sun. Yeah, we'll put sunflowers in the back. I know that's crazy, but I'll put a row of fire peas in the second column to keep everything nice and warm. Eventually. Yeah, let's let that guy walk forward. In fact, I might use him to melt out the imp, and then I can just deal with the imp. Or, actually, no, let's let one walk forward a bit more. I can use that in for later. Okay, I'm just gonna do this for now. I think that should be enough to get that guy right. If not, I'll just melt him. Come on, get him, get him. Dang it. Okay, we're just gonna do this to get him. And that does free up this little guy, but that's fine. So screw this guy. Stop pushing the stuff. Just gotta keep chaining these hot potatoes together. Does that do enough damage to get that guy? Nice, okay, good, good, good. 
Use a Guacodile there. Oh, that didn't kill him! Luckily, Guacodile charges up, like, really fast, so I can do that again. Okay, good, we saved that Primal guy. Really huge, actually. And I got strawberries from this, let's, uh, gotta make, keep an eye on that. Okay, we'll stun you. I don't want to deal with you right now. Okay, good, good, good. We're getting rid of the guys in the back. Uh, this guy still doesn't die to a Guacodile. This kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to Lava Guava this one, I think. Right, 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 you're gonna die, right? Nope, okay, I, th I don't think he was going to die. Man, this whole setup is like a mess, ain't it? Yeah, let's use this. Get rid of that guy. And I'll just walk it out of that imp. It's fine. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Still fine. Well, that is a uh, quite a few dodos, ain't it? We we're definitely gonna put a guava here. Oh, they're just gonna eat it. What? Excuse me. Can we can we deal with those birds, please? Thank you. I, they just ate a guava, dude. I guess I'll use this. Oh, they ate, they ate my strawburst. Okay, I need something for this bucket head. Can you stop, you stupid bucket head? Plant for the sunflower for delaying purposes. Stop it! Dude, I see you with the the mower. Uh, don't touch that mower, dude. Oh my gosh, things are just falling apart at the seams here. Okay, we're gonna freeze this weasel guy before he does his weasel business. I'm spending too much on guacodiles, that's the problem. Uh oh, weasel's getting through here, can't have that happen. I can't plant on the stupid lava! Okay, that guy almost put. That guy was almost able to put. Uh. This game is making me lose my mind. There's not, there wasn't even that many like freezing effects happening. Like I don't think I even needed the fire pee. What just happened? Oh, it's a stupid bird! Got through at the bottom. I didn't see. Ah. Uh. Dang it. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I think I got the strategy here that I'm happy with. So, yeah, basically using the traditional plants that they're giving us in this world. I'm not honestly sure what they want me to do with the strawberries. That they're, they're frozen out here in the field. Uh, I'm pretty happy with using tier 2 pepper pulps uh, to basically do thorough unthawing of all the ice blocks and also the troglodytes that show up in the back. Uh, and then Lava Guava and Cold Snapdragon to keep the Dodos un under control. I will say the Dodos are quite annoying. Basically, you just gotta throw out a Cold Snapdragon in the row they're in. If you have two Cold Snapdragons, 
in that row. They're basically set. Like, I don't think Dodos can get through two Cold Snapdragons. Especially if they're in every row. Because they'll be being hit with, like... Yeah, they'll be being hit with, like, um... Like, six Cold Snapdragons, potentially. So yeah, we're definitely gonna try and get Pepper Pulse in every row. To keep the Ice Block Avalanche from burying us. Yeah, because the splash damage is amazing. Like, keeping all the blocks um, thought is pr pretty good. Alright, let's just get a uh, one of these out immediately. It also keeps these plants... Yeah, see, look at how many blocks we're unthawing right now. So, the, I noticed the blocks coming over there at the bottom. So we're just gonna let that happen. He's pushing, he's pushing the strawberries towards us, which is still kind of good. Okay, let's unthaw this imp, and then we can use him to unthaw this buckethead. And then we'll stun that guy. And then we'll unthaw this guy, and that should deal pretty good damage. I'm just gonna lava glob at that guy. I'm not putting out as many of these sunflowers as I should. See, please don't eat that. Okay, thank you. Oh, I need to I need to do something here. Oh, the strawberries exploded, okay. Can you not eat that? Thank you. Deal with these imps right now. Okay, let's launch a straw burst. That definitely helped. I will say, in my previous attempts, I wasn't the best at using the straw burst when they came out. Let's get the plant fruit from this guy. In fact, let's just do one of these big bursts. Yeah, we're gonna lose him straight away. Oh well. Uh, let's unthaw this guy. That'll deal massive damage to that bucket head. And that should be enough to kill those two, right? Hopefully. If not, I'm just gonna use the Guacodile there. I'm completely missing this guy on the bottom somehow. Yes, yeah, Guacodile him. Oh, he's not gonna die from that. Oh well. Uh, another Guacodile should get rid of him though. Let's keep an eye on the guy on the bottom. Okay, there we go. Okay, here. Okay, here's the problem. We need enough. Like, we absolutely need another Cold Snapdragon in this row. Like, let's just use the this here. I'm just, I'm just trying to stack up this row with the birds in them right now. Oh, the sun gas doesn't affect those guys, I forgot! Oh man, bottom row is still not fixed. Birds are coming in the bottom too, and I don't even have a pepper pult in there. I'm just gonna put another sunflower up there. We'll get a pepper pult down there. Yeah, he repped all over that bird. There we go. It is so nerve-wracking to watch these birds, I will say. Like, it, it triggers me so much. <laughs> I need to get more pepper bolts out. Uh, I don't, I don't want to have to deal with these ice blocks the whole level. So I definitely want to get more fire going. 
Plus, it's, it's still like really good defense against the birds because they deal so much damage when they're tier two like this. Come on, deal with those birds, please. Come on, they're almost dead, right? Yeah, they Rio. Let's get another pepper pull for the top right now. I see a lot of dudes coming. Uh, I'm just gonna preemptively set up this lava guava for these birds that I see coming down below. In fact, let's just get a pepper pull down here. I'll replace that basic sunflower with this guy here. And that just help out the ice blocks down below. Okay, everything seems to be in order. Definitely should try and get more pepper pulls out. Particular, like I had not put them in the most important rows, and that's two and uh, five. Let's fix that right now. Oh shoot! Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I was meant to put a hot potato on that guy in row two, but I was too slow. I'm gonna need to do it here as well. So let's just do it here. I st and I still have two plant foods for this final wave. I think we're pretty well set. Here comes all the weasels, but little did they know we were prepared. See, why did that guacodile activate there? That bird, that bird wasn't flying. Let's just do one of these to clear out everything. I should have just done that at the beginning of the wave. Or at least when the, when the weasels came out, I would have gotten rid of them faster. Alright, we get the strawberries from that. Very nice. I'm tr I mean, it, I feel like it could be very good for dealing with the chocolate dites. But the, yeah, the problem is it's so gosh dang expensive. And I do have a costume for it, by the way. I don't know if I pointed that out the first time I played this level. But yeah, I bought a costume for it before I owned it. Ooh, we got a special level here. Greetings, Zomboss be back with challenge. Zomboss blows up mine and berries. They perish, then you die. Foolproof, regards, Zomboss. You heard that, Betty? We have to protect them. Reminder that some plants, uh, plant food effects may prove to be very useful. Protect the endangered plants. All right, they're giving us two frozen gold leaves here. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry, you may notice a little cut there. Uh, I've attempted this level many, many times, I will say. <laughs> uh, and I failed many times because this level is not very straightforward right off the bat. So we got a strawberry and a primal potato mine to protect. We also have gold leaves to kind of give us right off the bat there. So I think, um, and we have like a large variety of sets, but this is the loadout I'm gonna run with here. What's really frustrating is that they even like hint at what you're supposed to do, but it's like kind of RNG based because what you're supposed to do, I think is plant food the primal potato mine and use that to take out gargantuars, which have so much health. But the thing is, you're not guaranteed to have the primal potato mine land in the rows with the gargantuars. Anyway, so I brought Sunbeam here because it's fantastic here. Three bucket heads right off the bat. So we give that to the middle guy, and the middle guy dies straight away. So that's like a massive increase of sun right off the bat. I start using this guy to unthaw the... Unthaw the those guys a little bit. 
But the, but the real reason I have it is because I I'm slowing these two bucket heads down now to the point where they will arrive at those gold leaves slower, and I can use the I can use the straw burst to actually like hit these guys and like also unfreeze the the leaves at the same time. I'm gonna let this dirt uh, dodo walk up as close as he can before I fire this one. Boom, so I can get I get him in that attack as well. I'm gonna put a, a tall nut there to deal with that guy. I'm also gonna sunbeam this one. So I don't want this guy moving in front of the cold snapdragon. Or into him, rather, I should say. So let's get that. Let's occupy that gold tile. It's important we get a large, large, large amount of sun. Let's put that there. Oh, we can also use this to clear out this whole group. I think I want to hold on to... Oh, let's use this to clear out these guys. Oh, I should have beamed one of them. Shoot. Oh uh, yeah, let's get a fire pee out here to keep them from freezing. Okay, we got Gargantuars to deal with now, so we're just gonna plant food the primal potato mine and hope they go in the right rows. Alright, one of them did, the other one did not. So I am... well, I'm just gonna keep putting down sunflowers, I guess. Yeah, let's put another Cold Snapdragon here to deal more damage to this one. I really just don't know what to do here when the guy doesn't go in the right row. What I could do here is actually launch this straw burst before that. Okay, let's try this again. Dang, uh, he still didn't go in the right row. Please go in the top row, dude. Oh, come on. He's not going in the top row. Oh yeah, I need to use a straw burst for these waves, because they have just too much damage. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got the kill on that guy in time. Here, let's just put this here. This should clear out those guys a little bit, yeah. I need more fire. You need to delay this Gargantuar a whole bunch. Like, in case you can't tell, I absolutely hate how you have to depend on the stupid potato mine accurately going in the right rows. Let's get another straw burst for the middle row. Dang it. Okay, okay, we're still fine. Here, eat this. Someone eat that. Hopefully, I think the bucket I got that. We got Stroppers down below as well. I definitely can't let you guys step on that. Okay, big explosion there. Clear out those guys. Very nice. I kind of want to put a fire pee here in the middle to prevent that potato mine or all these guys from getting frozen over, I should say. Oh, the explosion actually hit the bird there. I just noticed that. Let's get another guy for the middle. That seems like it'd be a super good spot for that. And yeah, I will definitely get more of these tall nuts out further.
Oh, dude, what is with the, the wind here? Luckily, I got fire peas all over the place, so I thought everything. Okay, I think we're still doing fine despite all that cold wind that just blew. We got a huge wave incoming. We also have one use of the plant food, which we probably should use with the gargantuars coming up here. Although, I'm pretty sure they're... Hmm. Okay, at, at least it hits the birds. What just happened? Are you serious, you stupid imps? Are you serious? You just had to be thrown right as that stupid wind came out. I think I need another fire pee for the back row, because it... These guys get frozen too easily right off the bat. Yeah, let's get another straw burst there. I have three plant food in the bank, which is super good for these waves. Let's distract this gargantuar for a hot moment. I want I want to get a fire pee in the back, the bottom corner here. It should help out quite a bit. Let's do this, protect that fire pee. I need a fire pee in the back. Yeah, I, I realize I misplaced these. Or this fire pee, or the, the, the straw burst. Yeah, I need a, what am I trying to say? I need a straw burst in the middle row that's in column one or two. So I just realized my sun producers like are just all dead now. Can you imps screw off? I've, yeah, I've just lost so much there. <laughs> I, I, I think I really want to save my plant food for the... Oh shoot, this imp. Okay, I saved it, saved it. Don't smash that. Smash the jelly bean instead. Okay, I got I got two plant food in the bank, about to be three, so I'm super. I'm su I think I'm super good for the final wave. Although maybe I should just do oh shoot, he's frozen right now. Let's unfreeze that guy. Let's do this now to thin out this wave. Where's my mouse? Okay, I almost like lost it there. Definitely just do this for the final wave. Although maybe everything won't get frozen. Alright, okay, nice. We did it. Lovely! Lovely jubbly. Okay, I'm really happy the strawberries can actually hit the dodos. That is a relief. <laughs> Holy water, that was crazy! And it'll just get worse from here. The toughest challenges are far from over. For now, we can leave this place, go to somewhere warmer. Like Wild West, there's another energy spike from there. Another chance to finally face Dr. Zob, boss. Well then, let's time travel! Yay! Give me my freaking gems. I mean, it feels good to actually get like a regular supply of gems now. What? Did I unlock something new here? Oh, I don't know. All right, whoa, 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 whoa! That's the sound you make when you go through time portal. I say, buddy, old thing, tally -o! hip hip and such. We are in the Wild West, user Dave, not Victorian England. 
There's a difference. We are likely to encounter far more ferocious former frontiersmen, user Dave. We will need to sharpen our skills to stake any claim. Alright, well, all of that will have to wait for the next episode. Not actually, not, sorry, not actually the next episode. I just finished a world. So we're going to continue with the uh, whole uh, mini games. I'm going to do two mini games and then we'll hop back to this world. That's how my usual schedule goes. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm probably going to have to do a lot of editing to get uh, the episode down to like a suitable length. I'm at an hour 15 minutes now. I'm probably going to try and cut that down to... At the very most, 40 minutes. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!